here from Mexico when she was nine years old. In high school, she served in the junior ROTC and was president of the National Honor Society. This spring, she graduated from Arizona State University as the outstanding senior in the mechanical engineering department. Angelica, thank you. There are many others here today I'd like to introduce, but I don't have the time to do it. I appreciate the opportunity to testify today in favor of the Dream Act, which is a priority for this administration. The Dream Act should be seen in the broader context of this administration's comprehensive approach to border security and immigration enforcement, which has achieved important and historic results. As introduced, the DREAM Act establishes a rigorous process for those who enter the United States illegally as children, but allows them to obtain conditional permanent resident status by proving that they meet several strict requirements. Those individuals who would qualify under the DREAM Act do not fall within our enforcement priorities. And passage of the DREAM Act would completely eliminate them from the population that is subject to immigration enforcement. While illegal immigrants raised in the United States do not have a right to stay in our, in our country, they certainly have a claim on our conscience. We should act on that claim, but we should do so in a manner that limits unintended consequences. I want to make it clear that I support comprehensive immigration reform. I want to take on the whole issue and finally have a sensible law in America when it comes to immigration. But my first commitment is the DREAM Act. I want the DREAM Act to point the way for America. A new America of hope, a new America of opportunity, an America that is just and fair. This is what we are all about in this country, and this is what the dream is about. I think it, it went really well. Uh, I was really happy to hear different sides of, of the arguments and what people had to say. I think it's a really, um, a really good thing because it hopefully can move us forward. This was at the subcommittee, so it's a step forward, but I think um, I'm really excited for what's coming next. So that's where I'm gonna be looking for what's coming next and what can we, what can we talk about and, and come in fully compromised for bipartisan legislation that is gonna that is gonna be passed.